Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the last Throwback Thursday of 2014. We are a week away from Christmas Day, and um, a week and two days until I go to France. So I'm not going to be doing a Throwback Thursday next Thursday because everyone's going to be uh, chilling out and um, enjoying the holidays. So as this is the last Throwback Thursday of 2014, I wanted to make sure that it was a good one. We've looked back at the Ferrari 509 Mansory Stallone, the Dumbish Rich Man, the LP640 Haman, and some amazing memories of the Supercars of London YouTube channel. So why not do a video that is a hidden gem within some of the Supercars of London videos, but we're gonna turn it into um, Supercars racing each other. Now, no one ever races on the UK streets or the public roads because that's illegal. And as I'm driving my car now, no one is um, at all trying to race me whatsoever, and I'm actually coming into traffic. So, racing doesn't actually happen. However, on YouTube, there is a phrase that um, some people like to use. When there's two cars driving together and um, putting the accelerator down as quickly as possible, and that is versus. There's lots of videos on Supercars of London that is a Lamborghini Gallardo versus Ferrari 458, for example, or Ferrari 430 versus Lamborghini Superleggera, which we will tune into those videos soon. However, one video that isn't as viewed as well as um, I would have liked to have viewed, probably because it's been filmed at night time, is a very special Versus, not a race, a versus, which features a Bugatti Veyron Sang Noir, which is a special edition Bugatti Veyron, and also a Pagani Zonda Cinque, which is one of five. Now, they pull up to the lights next to each other and have a bit of a versus matchup. They definitely don't race because, again, that is illegal in the UK roads. But I want to throw back to um, this array of videos that feature some cars racing each other in the streets of London, so check these out. Supercars of London classics, they're incredible to watch. And when I was actually there filming, standing on the corner of the road, seeing these cars come around the corner, knowing that as soon as they came into frame, that they'd be racing, it was a really, really um, fun time to be filming. This is when there wasn't, there was a lot more relaxed atmosphere in central London around these cars that had Arabic number plates on. Um, the residents didn't mind too much about what they were doing. So they did enjoy to actually enjoy their car, if that's the right way of saying it. I like to enjoy this car, but I know as soon as I hit Knightsbridge, I've got to turn the valves off. I normally keep them on. But you do have to be fairly sensible when you hit Knightsbridge. Over the car last couple of years, the residents and police have kicked up a fuss about the amount of supercars that are racing around, which of course I don't condemn, but these videos are real. Um, they're, in, they're enjoyable for the viewer. There's really not that much um, safety issues with seeing these two cars go toe to toe um, down a central London street. These videos didn't actually take place in a very pedestrian, um, congested zone. They're racing around fairly main roads, which, I mean, as you can see from the videos, one of them is in the pouring rain, so they're not gonna be putting their foot down completely, but you do get a fantastic sound from the cars. Now, the one video that I want to focus on the most is the Pagani Zonda versus the Bugatti Veyron. Now, I will say this, um, I'm throwing this video back, but I wasn't actually the person that filmed it personally. I was at home when, at the time of the Supercars at London channel, there, I had a partner who was also helping me with 
through some of the videos. He was standing on the corner of the street, which is at the bottom of Park Lane. A car spot is um, a very good place to stand if you're a car spot. You get Park Lane traffic, which is a busy main road coming up and down, in and out of central London. And he was filming a silver Lamborghini Murcielago LP640, which was apparently first at the traffic lights. Now, if you watch back on the video, the Murcielago comes straight towards the camera and turns off left. However, what he wasn't expecting and had no clue whatsoever of what the cars were behind the Lamborghini, there you can hear the V12 scream of the Pagani Zonda Cinque as it's doing a burnout. So obviously it was sitting behind the LP640. The um, Lamborghini got scared and drove off fairly slowly. There isn't that much sound that comes from the Lamborghini, but the, what sound comes from the Pagani Zonda is heaven to my ears. <laughs> Unfortunately, the Lamborghini, the Lamborghini, oh my God, I've just combined Lamborghini and Pagani. Let's, let's go back, let's throw back 10 seconds. The Lamborghini actually turns left um, up Park Lane and the Pagani heads towards the traffic lights which are right in front of Zach, who was the cameraman at the time. He is also the guy that pranked me by moving this car and drove this car. So um, if you ever see him on the street, say hello and uh, shout at him, tell him not to move my car again. I'm hoping to meet up with him in the new year as well and maybe we'll do some uh, more videos. I'm currently um, conducting, or not conducting, devising a new prank but I haven't thought of it yet. However, let's get back to this Throwback Thursday video. I was halfway through this story or the phone call that I was having with Zach. So he was telling me how the Lamborghini pulled off from the lights and a Pagani, the Cinque, had done a burnout with right behind the Lamborghini and pulled up next to him at the traffic lights. Now, the video is actually edited so that it stops where the Bugatti Veyron pulls up next to the Pagani. Now this, I don't think, can happen anywhere else in the world apart from central London because it is absolutely insane. <laughs> five Pagani's on the Cinque, Roadster, parked at the traffic lights, and then a Bugatti Veyron Saint Noir, and now correct me if I'm wrong, but I think there's only five of them in the world as well, so pure limited edition hypercars next to each other at the lights. But both cars racing each other off the line, the Pagani Zonda hitting the rev limit, at, bouncing off the rev limit and accelerating down, and you can hear a pop right at the end. <laughs> Obviously you can't hear a single thing from the Bugatti van because it is a car that is completely silent but it is an insane bit of footage and one that like I've said previously it will not be replicated anywhere in the world and um, to have that on the Supercars of London channel is an absolute um, dream come true and for Zach to film it of course uh, Zach was part of the Supercars of London and uh, me and him had the partnership but that video is definitely one of my favourites and it's also a classic within the Supercars of London spotting community as well. However, it doesn't have as many views as I was expecting it to get and also as much as I'd like. It is an incredible video. If you Google Pagani versus Bugatti, you really don't get that many searches. But the fact that it was at night time and the screenshot was impossible to get because it was at night time and the fact that it was filmed on a toaster probably doesn't help when it's um, coming across all of the search engines on YouTube and stuff. So as I'm driving to this meeting, it's been quite difficult for me to concentrate on both, but I hope you've enjoyed the story of the Bugatti Veyron versus the Zonda. It is an incredible video. I don't know how many times I've said that, to be honest. Go, 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 go. But I hope that you'll agree with me, but this is one of the best Supercars of London videos that has ever been filmed. I'd like to thank Zach for filming it, for him giving me the memorable call as well. And then as soon as I saw the footage, I was completely blown away. So yes, sometimes races can happen in central London, but they're never organized and it never lasts more than five or 10 seconds probably don't even last five seconds to be honest and I've never got involved in any sort of race whatsoever that is um, the truth so yes that's it from me today uh, make sure that you uh, continue to retweet share the competition of winning uh, a supercar driving experience day cannot wait to do that in the new year 
meet up with um, lots and lots of people. Europe, UK, there's going to be tours all around those places, the UK and Europe. I can't wait to bring my R8 to um, somewhere near you and um, hopefully you'll be able to hear it, see it and um, catch up with me. So um, that's it. Look forward to seeing you tomorrow as my car's going into storage. I'm, I swear I'm repeating myself more and more, um, but because I'm driving and concentrating, I'm not really concentrating on what I'm saying. But thank you for watching. Remember Christmas special this Saturday, 20th of December. Living with a supercar, can you fit a 10 foot Christmas tree in this car? Comment below. Cheers guys.